Our variables for today's Taguchi L12 are eight different variables which we think will impact how far the ball will go. The first three are very obvious. The first one is the air volume. So we have two different air volumes. We have a small air volume, which is approximately 198 cubic inches, and we have a large air volume, which is approximately 672 cubic inches. The theory being that the larger the air volume, the further that the ball will go. The second is how high do we pump up that volume? And so here we have a pressure, a pump, excuse me, and this pump is will allow us to pump it up to 20 or 40 psi. So that's the experimental range, 20 to 40 psi. The third variable is the length of the barrel. So we have two different barrels. We have a four foot barrel and we have a six foot barrel. The theory being that the longer the projectile is in the barrel, the more time it has to be impacted by the air coming out of the air volume and so that the smaller barrel will go a shorter distance than the larger barrel. Then we have an interesting, maybe not initially thought of variable, which would be two different types of valves. I'd like to know if there's a lot of variation within this manufacturer's valves. Do some of them open quicker or slower than the others? Do they have different size volumes when they open? So we're going to test two different of the exact same manufacturer's valve to see if it's a difference in distance as well. The other thing that associates with a valve is you have to apply a voltage to the valve. <clears throat> the valve works just fine with a single 9-volt battery. When you put the wires on a 9-volt battery, the valve will open and close. So the question is, is does 9 volts all it needs, or would it benefit from taking three batteries, putting them together, and having a 27-volt opening voltage? In this particular case, perhaps the valve opens quicker, and so you get a more explosive shot. The shot will go further. We also have a, two different makers of golf balls. In my right hand, this white ball is a $5 golf ball, and in my left hand is a $1 golf ball. Now, frankly, I chose them because they are such a big difference in price, and obviously we can't confuse the white from the pink, which makes the experiment easier to run. However, many people wondered about golf balls, at least I do, does a golf ball have a distance in how far it will go simply based upon its manufacturer? We're not striking the golf balls, we just like to know what the aerodynamics of the golf ball are. Finally, we have two different wad types. In order to get a golf ball to come out of a two and a half inch piece of PVC, we have to put a wad down in the barrel first. So we have a cloth wad and a paper wad. We'll be finding out if the cloth wad or the paper wad is the more efficient method to get the golf ball out. The last variable that we have, which we'll be showing you later, is the angle of the shot. We're going to shoot the PVC cannon at a 60 degree angle and a 45 degree angle to see what the impact is on angle. These are eight different variables associated with the potato cannon. We shall see which ones work out to be the most important.